Do people ever sit you down and ask what the heck a potamus is going on in your mind? Don't tell me I'm the only one. Anyway, I never really know how to respond to that question. But the one thing I always am doing in my mind is humanizing non-human things. And as a mental five-year-old, I love thinking about and humanizing animals. PSA to the powers that be, if you don't make vegetarian dinosaur chicken nuggets soon, I am gonna boycott the earth. And you don't you don't wanna lose all of this. You really don't. So here we go. Welcome to my mind. So I know that the first thing that you're wondering is who is the Chad of the animal world? It is a salmon. These boys are always looking fresh, glistening in the sunlight, some good muscles under there. They do CrossFit all day. And most importantly, they are hydrating. Koalas are named Jeremy. They are never not high on life. They think that it's funny to pee on people, and they probably gave your mom chlamydia on the last family vacation you guys went on. Deers, deer, are named Emma. There's just no substance there, and there's way too many of them. Also, they probably have ticks. You know, just like basic Emma qualities. Chickens are the Henry of the farm. They are cute as heck. They're descendants of some king or somebody that came over on the Mayflower or something. But they're probably engaged to their second cousin and also they know weirdly way too much about silver polishing. Raccoons are named Tina. They just can't seem to decide what color they want their hair to be, so they dye it a new shade every month. They like to hang out in edgy locations and call it hipster, and they will make anything into art. Polar bears are Elise. They have like 12 brand sponsorships, 50 documentaries about them. People are constantly just donating to them for the cute pictures and videos they put out. And they also wear a lot of clear and mesh clothing. And their bedroom is completely white. Seagulls are Chris. Chris is just kind of all up in your business. He's always asking for your snacks, like pecking at your ego with these little digs, pooing all over your head when he doesn't like your outfit. However, he also has that cute, annoying little brother vibe. Like, you just want to tackle him, but like, in a loving way. Help, I don't know how to express love. Turkeys are the Rob of the animal kingdom. They're kind of weird and really have no significance for 99.9% .9 of the year until they randomly show up on Thanksgiving and make you feel really fat. Butterflies are Lucy's. Lucy started off kind of lame, like, you know, she was just kind of there, but then this one summer she went totally MIA and nobody really knows where she went, like she was just off the grid. Was she kidnapped? Was she okay? We don't know. And then she just reappeared in totally glown up form. Glown up? Glowed up? Glue up. She glue up. She, she glue, that really just sounds like threw up. Meerkats are Caitlin's. They always think that somebody is out to get them and they only travel in packs. Also, they always eat these really disgusting diet foods that they say will make them drop 10 pounds of water weight. Owls are the Jareds. Oh, he got it at Jared. Is that the right ring company? Yeah, I wouldn't know because I'm not in the market for a proposal. <laughs> Propose to me if you're interested, I'll be waiting. Anyway, owls are Jared because they only come out at night, they hear everything that you say, and they will waste no time swooping in there to grab your girl. Oh, and also they cough up weird fur balls. Cod is Todd. First of all, it rhymes. But we're not preschoolers. Well, I am, but you're not, so let's get some more substance. Nobody wants to hang out with Todd. Nobody wants to eat Todd. Todd the Cod is like the least sexy fish. Even tuna don't want to mess around with cod. Therefore, cod is Todd. Squirrels. Squirrels are the Mackenzie of the forest because all they eat is sugar, they literally misplace everything that they own, and they never do their work. Also, they're low-key hoarders. Moths are the
are the tailors of the universe. They kind of fly under the radar, and they make these weirdly narcissistic comments. They will slowly erode any shred of self-confidence that you may have, and they really just want a good tan. Hippos are all named Sammy because they seem totally cute and harmless until you cross them, and then you better watch out because they will get revenge. Like, just switch schools. It's all over. Evacuate. Stop, drop, and roll. I repeat, stop, drop, and roll. Ostriches and emus are both named Lisa. You just know they want to spit on you and peck your eyes out. And their heads are kind of in the sand about everything. Horses are Benz. They're kind of basic, but they play a few sports, and so every girl at school just wants to hang around them all the time. Octopi are Alberts. They're actual geniuses, but you kind of never know what's going on in their minds. Also, they have a lot of wrinkles and will prematurely bald. Chimpanzees are the Trevors of the jungle. They're pretty clever, but you know these boys are up to no good. Also, they talk a lot of trash behind your back. P.S. If you're ever looking for a quick hack to decide whether you can trust someone, have them pronounce the word chimpanzee. If they pronounce it chimpanzee, cut them out of your life. Lions are the Derricks and or Lindsays. If you have a lion in your life, you are the luckiest homie in the forest. They will make you dinner, they'll take you to fun places, and most of all, they will protect. So yeah, that's it for this video. The moral of the story is kind of just... If you don't have any friends, look at some pictures of animals and make them up in your head. It's super healthy, I promise.